Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Going to talk to you on what's a touchy subject to some. There's some of us that ain't nothing touchy about it, it's our right. And that's our Second Amendment. The uh, latest battle, excuse me, up here on the yard, I got the windows down a little bit because it's nice, dust is blowing. Not bad, just enough to get me going. It dust is blowing and so is Papa Joe. Uh, you know, our, our rights, where do you start with the Second Amendment? There are those that claim that the Bill of Rights gives us a right to have hunting guns. That's what they meant. So you could go hunting. Gotcha. I don't think our forefathers, after coming out of a battle, a war for freedom from oppression, was worried about hunting. Let's say, uh, says somewhere in there about a, a militia, which is a militia, a military a militia. Uh, and no, I'm not saying it quite right, but you get the gist of it. Well, nowadays they say, well, we've got the army and we've got the National Guard, so that don't work. You don't need that guns for that now, really. It says who? It says that it is our right and it should not be infringed upon. And it has been drastically. Now we cannot go back and recoup what we've done lost, what we've done gave up trying to compromise. There is no compromise with gun grabbers. There's none. I refuse to give up any more than I'm absolutely forced to, and I'm being careful how I say that. Uh, you know, the Second Amendment and the, uh, we just had a battle in 2008 in court over some of this gun rights, and the Supreme Court, if I remember correctly, did stand up for our rights. However, they did say that felons and, and crazy people should not have guns. I ain't got a problem with that. I know the felons do. Sorry, felons. You got caught. Quit getting caught. Uh, but it streams back. The Second Amendment goes all the way back. And I looked it up just so I wouldn't be talking total nonsense to you goes back to 1689. That's a little bit before our country was born. What do you think? Uh, let's see. The Second Amendment was based partially on the right to keep and bear arms in English common law and was influenced by the English Bill of Rights of 1689. Sir William Blackstone described this right as an auxiliary right supporting the natural rights of self-defense and the resistance to oppression and the civic duty to act in concert in defense of the state. Any labels of rights as auxiliary must be viewed in the context of the inherited person of purpose of a Bill of Rights, which is to empower a group with the ability to achieve a mutual desired outcome and not to necessarily, well, you catch, you catch what it's saying. So, you know, key word, or a couple of them, resist oppression, period, to fight off uh, tyr tyranny, 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 boy, it's been a long day already. 
Uh, so, you know, it's not saying nothing in there about squirrel hunting, deer hunting, or nothing. I, I totally understand, don't necessarily agree with, but I totally understand not wanting the masses to have machine guns and bazookas and and all that. Okay, I get it. You know, now let's now you can still get that kind of stuff whether you know it or not. You're called a stamp collector because you have to have approval, and uh, the government wants to keep track of where that kind of stuff is. Hard to argue with that one. So, uh, there we go. Now, uh, the next thing they like to throw at the second bill, or the second amendment, is that uh, it's to save lives. Really. To save lives, really. In this day and age, you're going to try to use that. And don't wash for me. Uh, if we're going to take guns to save lives because people get killed with guns, a lot more people get killed by doctors. Malpractice. Are we going to take away the doctors? cars, regardless if it was a drunk driver, a distracted driver, someone on their texting, regardless, cars kill far more people than guns, or we're going to take cars away. Abortions. Literally millions of unborn babies are murdered and killed every year. Are we going to outlaw them? Are we only going to outlaw the stuff that the gun grabbers disagree with, which is guns? Huh. <clears throat> now, something that I've often said, and I seriously mean, they talk about grabbing guns. And when they talk about it, they're talking about coming and getting it from us honest folks. The, the people that have our guns legally, we've not been out doing nothing stupid with them. But they think going door to door or whatever they have to do, they'll start with us. Why? Why? Because you think we're easier? Are you sure? There's some people that hold pretty tight to their Second Amendment, and I'm not trying to evoke no fights, or I'm just thinking this out. I have often said, and I continue to say and believe, that if you want to start taking guns, Let's do it this way. You have all your statistics that you like quoting to me. Start at the top of that list where the most people are killed with guns. And right there beside it is probably where the most illegal guns are. So if you want to start a gun control thing, why don't you go take where they're actually doing a bunch of killing, where you know there's a bunch of illegal guns, go collect their guns first. Disarm the bad guys. And then come talk to the good guys. We're not going to give up our guns, I can assure you that. But at least we'll give you a pat on the back and say you finally did something right and you took the guns from the bad guys. Now, go away and leave us the hell alone. So I see it. 
But in all seriousness, you see all the time where uh, uh, they're blaming the guns. Anytime somebody gets killed with a gun, it's the gun's fault. What else do they blame an idol? They don't blame the car for the drunk drivers. They don't blame the doctor for the scalpel. What else? Don't make a lot of sense to me. Now let's go back to that thing I was just reading. And that was out of Wikipedia. Wikipedia, however you say that one too. Uh, remember I said on right on there that are uh, the Second Amendments, and it comes back from 16 whenever, to resist oppression. Oppression. That means somebody wants to dominate over you and force their will upon you. The most clear picture that I see when I think of that is a bunch of Jews being forced onto trains. And they was being railroaded off by the thousands to the gas chambers and to forced labor camps and to hell. The second picture that comes is when we finally got in there, we as in the, all the allies that went in to free them, do you remember the pictures of them folks that was coming, what ones actually lived through it? They were walking skeletons. Now, how many of them people do you think got on that train willingly? How many people do you think allowed themselves to be starved to death willingly? Now, we've had this kind of nonsense People have been starved to death in all kinds of different countries. Uh, the history of a bunch of the communist and socialist countries all started with the same thing. Disarm the people. And they're always going to do it for your good. We're going to disarm you to protect you. We'll take care of you. I don't buy it for a moment. And people say, don't you trust your government? Why, hell no, I'm not stupid. I know the real history. I've not been brainwashed. I've not been dumbed down. I remember the history I was taught in school. And it's not good what happens when a government disarms the populace. It always leads to no good. All right, Australia and them, they got disarmed. All the legal people turned their guns in. It wasn't bad. And no, they ain't all been starved out, killed, trained off to the gas can, none of that. But the bad guys kept their weapons. And they're finally getting all them off the streets. It's taken a while. But you know what? The bad guys are kind of, the, the stabbings have gone way up. The gunshots have gone down, but the stabbings have gone up. Beating with the club's gone up. If somebody has a intention to do ill, some kind of damage to someone, to hurt someone, to maim them, to kill them, we have suicide bombers, people use cars, they use bricks, they use their fist, they use whatever they can get their hands on. Weapons of opportunity. Huh. The thing that gets me 
said, let us have your guns and we'll protect you. I've seen a meme on uh, Facebook that cracks me up. It says, you want me to give you your gun so you can protect me. You can't even stop telemarketers. And they can't. They can't even stop all the mass shootings that have, happen every weekend in these Democratic-controlled cities. But yet you want me to give up my gun. You can't take them from all these heathens, these real criminals. You're afraid to go in and try to collect their guns. But you think I should give you my gun and trust you to protect me. Ain't happening. Not for a minute. And I'm not anywhere near the only one. I ain't buying it. You should not fear my guns. You should fear a government that fears my guns. Me nor my guns have hurt nobody. Nobody. And the majority of us out here, as civilians, our weapons have hurt nobody. So why would you want them? Plum ridiculous. I can't help but think, especially with the way uh, so much of our politics have been unfolding and some of the stupid thinking that's coming out of D.C., I can't help but worry about why they want to disarm me. What do you have planned? What are you wanting to force upon me? I don't want no part of it. <coughs> Just some of my thinking. What am I missing here? And like I said, I'm not advocating for no kind of stupid stuff. None of that. I'm just trying to figure out the real reasoning behind it. We all know that there's plenty of stuff out here that kill a lot more people than guns kill. But nothing is said about that. Huh. It can't be lives. They really can't be worried about lives. If they did, they'd talk about abortion. They like to holler the children. Oh, children are getting shot. Well, children are getting ripped apart in the womb. And that don't bother you. Children are getting shot down in the streets of your cities. And you do nothing. But I'm supposed to trust you. There's a thing goes around that says... Uh, Give up your guns to the government, they'll trust you. Ask the American Indians. They slaughtered them folks, big time. There's a few stories that are pretty damn nasty. That's trust in your government. And with all the worldwide history of socialist 
and and communist and and all that kind of dictatorship nonsense and now we have people in our government that's talking that same stupid shit part of my French and now they want us to give up our guns while you're talking that stupid nonsense I don't see it. I think it would be a bunch of fools. You know, they, uh, there's a story they tell. I assume it's true. I believe, I could believe it real easy. That's where, uh, they was talking to a Japanese general or whatever, and they was talking about invading America. And they said, oh, hell no, them people are crazy. They got guns everywhere. There's a gun behind every blade of grass. That's kept us safe for years until our government started letting in terrorists. See, now there's another thing. They're going to protect us. How good did they protect us on 9-11? And we find out, after the fact, that they had some clues about 9-11. They had clues about Pearl Harbor. There's a lot of stuff that has happened where our government up there is not communicating and they let bad stuff happen to we the people. But give us your guns and we'll protect you. I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a minute. I've been thinking about this all day and I don't see what I'm missing. What am I missing? If y'all got any input, I'd appreciate it. Regardless which side of that fence you're on, just do it politely, please. I don't know, want no rants. Don't want a bunch of cussing and carrying on. I don't want a bunch of threatening the government or anybody else. That ain't what this is about. This is trying to figure out their thinking. Why do you think they want to disarm us? The reasons they're giving me don't add up. Why do you think they want to disarm us? Just rambling thoughts on a late Sunday night. With that, I think I'm going to go back here for a few hours. Y'all remember, the good Lord loves you, and so do I. Our government? I don't know now. I don't know. I'm still open and debating on that one. Y'all have a blessed evening.